I mean, you know, I guess a lot of directors want to know that the producer is going to be able to raise the money. So I guess that's kind of important. But, but um, I think, you know, you just have to feel that you have kind of complementary um, skills, really, and, and that you're going to work well together um, fundamentally and that you kind of get along. Um, and that, yeah, you're kind of both doing different things happily. I think probably, I would imagine from a director's point of view, there's nothing worse than working with a producer who is essentially a frustrated director. Um, maybe all producers, to some extent, at some level, are. But I think some are more than others, you know. Um, I mean, I really kind of love the role of, of, of producing, principally because it sort of suits my temperament. I don't really want to get completely consumed by one thing to the point of obsession for two years. You know, that's not really what I, I, I don't mind, you know, I, I like the kind of, I, I love being immersed in, in my work, but I need to have things, other things going on, you know, sort of, and I need to be able to sort of, you know, do those sort of different jobs that producing sort of requires. Um, James is completely different. He's a completely different person to me. And, you know, he is someone who, who looks for those things that are going to completely sort of obsess him and, and, and you know, to the point of distraction. And, and you know, that, that's what he's like. He's quite, you know, he's a little bit, you know, somewhat, maybe not introspective, but, you know, he's more solitary, you know, in some ways um, than... than I am.